Hello everyone, my name is TGP, and welcome back to Wooden Battles! Now, the last episode I basically did, I think, three missions? I think I left off on the fourth. And just looking at this is uh, pretty intimidating. And uh, I I'm not really sure. Let's see. Oh, and I, okay, I finally figured out how to switch the camera. Or move it around, I mean. And you just gotta push down on your mouse wheel. Which uh, is kind of a weird... I don't know, like mechanic or like the button layout, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I'm a fucking idiot. But that's what I was trying to like figure out last episode. Like I just couldn't do it. So now, now we can see what they have. They have medics and mainly infantry. Now, last episode, I basically was just dicking around with the riflemen. I would just spam the holy hell out of them. And it, you know what? It was surprisingly effective. <laughs> the enemy could not handle the amount of spam. But this time, let's try to be a little strategic. So let's see. They have four cannons. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put four cannons as well. They, I, I think we need like two or three medics. I'm not entirely sure if medics can heal uh, cannons. They might actually. They might actually be able to heal cannons, and if that's the case, well, that's going to be fantastic. I don't know if strategically lining these guys up is going to be a good idea, but you know what? Let's go for it. Let's see. E oh, oh, oh crap, I'm short. Can I move units? Nope, I sure as hell can't. Alright, let's just see if this works. This is cool, though. I, I, I like... This is a pretty fun game. I think once I'm done with the campaign, I'm going to try survival or, uh, yeah, survival mode. Survive wave after wave. Oh, those snipers are just chewing us up. See, I was kind of hoping the cannons were going to go up against the cannons, you know, kind of do the classic 2v2 on each side. But, uh, I, I guess not. My medics aren't even doing anything. Oh, wait, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're, they're doing something. There's like a weird delay with the medics, though. You'd think with four, they would, I, I, I thought they'd be invincible, honestly. I guess not. And I guess they don't heal the cannons. Well, shit. So maybe that was a bad idea. Man, maybe spamming the rifleman is the only way to go. Yeah, all this inf Yeah, let's see. One cannon to rule them all. Oh, 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 wow, it actually did a lot of damage. Can this cannon solo? Oh, just kidding. Restart? Oh, I guess there was a, uh, maybe I should have restarted with the units. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. All right. So we have a musket tune. Maybe he's good at taking out the, uh, the cannons. I don't know why that took me a while to figure out. I'm like, what? what is that device? That contraption at the end of the enemy fort? Oh boy. Let's just spam, you know, you know, fuck it. We, we try to be strategic here. We tried to be, you know, a good player. But now we're going to be the asshole player who spams an army of riflemen. And look how effective this is. Look at this massive army of riflemen. You got the four musketoons marching up. I want to see if they're effect how effective they are. I've never used this unit before. They're not very effective. Or a one man down. They can take sniper shots though. Oh, two down. So these guys oh wow. So they're like fort destroyers. Okay, that's good to know. So I want to put those guys in the back. You don't want them to be the front line taking all the bullets. I get it now. It all makes sense. See, I feel like riflemen just spamming the crap out of them is the way to go. The fort is almost entirely destroyed, and three of the four cannons are done. Like, oh, okay. Th this was surprisingly effective. And you don't, th you naturally don't think it's going to work. I think last episode I was talking about how this was um, harder than tabs, but. I think it's easier because they give you too much money. 
I, I, I really think that's the issue here, is that they just give you too much. I, I don't know. <clears throat> so I definitely want... Can I move my... Oh, the, I can position my cannons. Oh, this was another cool thing that I found out. So I, you know, I, I did the tutorial this time, and I found out that if you have units set on defense, they aren't going to move forward, right? And then if you switch to offense, so these two units were on defense, and if I put these guys right here, they're going to be on offensive mode. And then I switch to defensive, and if I were to put one guy here, he's not going to march down uh, the lane. So I think what I want to do, since that's nothing, these are just nothing but snipers and the mus musketoons. I think what I want to do is I'm going to like go ahead. Since they don't have cannons, we're going to give this three rows of infantry. And then we're going to have five. Because, I mean, the snipers look intimidating, but if we have two, like, massive brigades of riflemen, I mean, there's not really much they can do. Because all we need to really do is just take down their, uh, their, uh, oh man, the, the, I, I want to say fortress, but <laughs> I wouldn't really call that a fortress. So maybe, oh, oh no, I'm an idiot. I put them all on defense. I put them all on defense, damn it. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, I mean, at least, at least now we know that these guys, they're going to be charging forward. Okay, hold on. I'm going to restart with clear units. Okay, it's on offensive. So I, w I want my musketoons to be able to make it to the enemy, uh, the, the base. That's the, that's the goal here. The musketoons have to survive to bring down the snipers. So we spawn down this massive wave of units. Man, my bird is just going off today. Wow, look at that. Wooden Battles has posted another update. Okay. I'm glad that they're pumping out updates, you know, that, 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 that's something that I really appreciate. I mean, it may sound a little silly, but like, I hate when new games come out and it's like a, a quick money grab, you know what I mean? Like, it's just this quick money grab, they don't really care about their game or their product, and it, it's nice to see that they're pumping out updates to make the game better and more enjoyable. And I think they're going to really stick with it. I really do. And oh my gosh. See, that's not what I meant to happen. I didn't think my units were going to cluster up. But oh my gosh, they are just destroying the snipers. I didn't even need the musketoons. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So what are we on? Mission 6? Huh. So we got, you know, two sets of snipers, got a lot of musketoons. See, I feel like the the problem here, I don't, I don't mean to complain, but like, I honestly think, you know, you know what, if the creator is watching this video, I, I think you need to lower the amount of money you give per mission. This is, in my opinion, a little overkill. Like, look, I've already, I've got like, Way more cannons than that guy. I can bring down a ton of musketoons. Like, the, at, at this point, it's a little too unfair. And I can bring down four snipers on each side. And then I can bring in, like, two... Oh, one medic. One medic, my bad. But see, like, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to complain. I, I think this game is great and all. But I think there's just too much money. Because look at this. like That's what I was able to produce with all that cash. This massive freaking army. Like, it, at this point, it's almost just unfair. Just how much resources you're given in comparison to the enemy. I, I really do. I mean, that, that was kind of an easy, easy mission. I think that might have been level 6. 
See, why why does level six give you thirty thousand and then this gives you twenty two K? Like, I mean I'm fine with it. I know I just said like give us less money, but oh man. I, I don't I don't know, I just it is what it is, I guess, you know? It is a cool game. I, I like the concept. I mean, if it ever turns out like tabs where they update the crap out of it and stuff, I, I it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm totally down to do more videos. By the way, I would like to thank you all for the support. I was really surprised on how well the video turned out. Like, I think it's got almost 120 views on my first episode, which was, you, you, you know what? I'm just going to have to say thank you guys. Thank you all for just taking your time to watch the video, you know, like just, just watching the video. It, you don't have to like it. Trust me. I know my content is not good by any means, but I'm just grateful that you guys take your time to watch the videos. You know, it means a lot to leave likes to, even subscribe like just you guys taking your time out of your day to watch these videos it means a lot oh geez we're getting a little bit of lag so i just want to thank you all for the support it means a lot i, I don't want to go rambling but oh my goodness it, the frame rate has just dropped way 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 below oh my goodness this has just now become a slideshow everybody <laughs> Holy crap. I don't know what was up with that. What, what, uh, hmm. So this mission is definitely going to be a little harder to counter. It, it seems like it really is going to be a little bit harder to counter. My strategy has just been kind of going toe to toe with these guys. Just kind of like, okay, well, you know, they, they have two brigades of mu uh, musketeers. I'm going to do the same thing but more sloppy. Oh boy. I don't really know if we need cannons. I think we need these guys more than anything. Like, these guys are like... Ah, these guys are like the bread and butter of destroying the enemy fort and cannons and... I, I don't know if they're good at taking out each other. By the way, if you can hear my bird, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. Like... I started recording this video. I'm like, oh, she's being really quiet. Okay, now's, now's my chance to strike, to, to make a video, basically. And as soon as I start recording, she just starts going, like, ape shit. Mm. I, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways. See, I... They just... They give you too much money. That's the biggest problem. They give you so much money in this game that it's like you can easily outnumber the enemy's defenses like the, I, you know in tabs the idea was you have this very limited amount of money and the enemy's going to have a greater force than you at all times so it's kind of like how are you going to counter that you know what i mean in this it's like it, it's just hey let's see how many like okay so here's the enemy defenses but you can easily without a doubt, put down three times more units than they can. And you just obliterate them. Like, we haven't even really gotten to the fort, and it's already halfway down. And we still have, like, half our army from this battle. It's kind of insane. I, I wonder what level 9 is going to be like. It's still cool, though. Like, I like the idea of the campaign. So, this might be mission 9. Oh yeah, no, they're going all out. This is their last defense. Defensive positions. And they're going to give us 30k for it too. That's a lot of effing cannons. Let's just go, let's just go all out. Why the hell not? I'm going to place down some musketoons because, you know, the, these guys are extremely important. And then we'll just put down a crap load of infantry. See, it's just, I, you know what they need to do? They need to bump up the price for musketeers. I think 100 is not enough to kind of like balance this out. Because look how many units, like I can just place down a crap ton of units and it just seems almost unfair. The rest of these guys will be musketoons with one more rifleman. 
and a crap ton of cannons. Look at that. It's just insane. Like, it's a really cool game. Oh my gosh, those cannons just obliterated that middle force. Oh my gosh. That's insane. The cannons stood no chance. They just got wiped clean. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I'm curious to see how the survival mode is going to go. I really am. Like, I think that will be a lot more fun. I don't know. The, the, the campaign, it's fun. It's really cool to see these battles play out. But it's also just a little insane on how much money they give you to counter your enemy. Oh, these cannons are just cornered. Look at that. They're making their last stand trying to fight off the overwhelming mass waves. Oh, that, that cannon's going in. They ain't fucking around. Victory, you beat all the missions. Hell yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and quit. Now, I'm a little confused on the armory. Did we win something? You can change these. I know you can. Let's see. Mission challenges. Wait, there's challenges? What 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 do I do here? Oh okay, I didn't realize oh man. So do you have to do challenges to unlock items? Is that what you have to do? Oh man, I think we're gonna win the first challenge. Is this can of misses? Two times in a row. I think we might be able to win. Three times. Wow. That has to be kind of embarrassing for the cannon. Four times. Okay. Come on, rifleman. Just take him out. Five shots. Holy crap. How many shots does this take? This is not a very exciting battle. Look at that. Just... The cannon's missing, the rifleman's just kind of chilling there, shooting. This, oh, we, we won. <laughs> we, we did it. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and quit. Let me see, mission. Oh, no, not missions. We already beat that. So challenges. So it's got a green star. So I guess you have to beat all the challenges, and then maybe, maybe you can access the armory. Maybe that's what they're uh, trying to go for. So wait, is it like a better version of the gun? Huh. That's actually kind of cool though. You can upgrade your units. Armory, sandbox, wave. Oh man. So now we're in sandbox mode. So this is actually pretty cool. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.